Here is the updated bobblehead collection as of May of 2023. You can tell I've had to add in another cabinet here because the bangle section of the bobblehead collection has grown and I've gotten a lot more bobbleheads since the last time I filmed a bobblehead collection update video. So we'll start at the beginning and work our way toward the back and this will be the 2023 bobblehead update video. So on the top shelf here, we have the old school Cincinnati red stockings up to the 1919 World Series Championship team. So in the back, we have Harry Wright and George Wright. They are credited with starting the Cincinnati Reds or Cincinnati Red Stockings franchise. Um, in the back, we have Dummy Hoy. And then in the dark blue, we have Noodles Han. And then in the light blue, we have Will White. In front of him is John Riley. And then next to him is Lipman Pike. That is a grail bobblehead, super hard to find. Uh, very happy I found one for a really nice price. Uh, this one is Bid McPhee. The next to him is Whitey Guess. And then we have Cy Seymour right there. And in the front, we have the four 1919 World Series Championship player bobbleheads that have been made by the Reds Hall of Fame. So we have Dolph Luck, Ed Roush, Pat Moran, and Rube Bressler. And below them, we have the 40s and 50s Reds bobbleheads with the 1940 World Series Championship team being featured in the front. So in the back, we have Joe Nuxall, Chuck Harmon, Brooks Lawrence, and Big Clue, Ted Klozuski. And then for the 1940 World Series Championship team, we have Paul Derringer, Ernie Lombardi, Frank McCormick, and Johnny Vandermeer with his double no-hitter bobblehead in the front. This shelf has the 1961 National League Championship team on here. So we have the Veda Pinson bobblehead, Wally Post, Leo Cardenas, Gus Bell, grandfather of the current Reds manager, David Bell, Jim Maloney, Jim O'Toole, and in the middle with the, we have the most famous Red from that team, Frank Robinson. On the bottom, we have a bunch of bobbleheads on here. These are like leading up to the Big Red Machine, Big Red Machine, who are not the grade eight, and one player from the 80s, I believe, on here. So we'll start in the back and work our way toward the front. So we have Daryl Cheney right there. Then next to him, we have Wayne Granger, uh, Fred Norman, and then Tom Seaver. And then the guy in the middle is Dave Bristol, and he is currently next to Mario Soto, and that is Jack Billingham. And then we have the Dan Driesen bobblehead right there with Pedro Barbone, Lee May, Gary Nolan, Tommy Helms, and the front we have the Cobra, Dave Parker. And then going back to the top, we have the great eight from the Big Red Machine era who propelled the Reds to back-to-back -back World Series championship wins in 75 and 76, as you can tell by the replica World Series rings right here. So we have Joe Morgan, Ken Griffey Sr., Johnny Bench, Cesar Geronimo, Pete Rose, Tony Perez, David Concepcion, George Foster, and the manager Sparky Anderson. So I had to include Sparky with the great eight because he was pretty much the captain driving that ship. And as you can tell, they are now all full-sized. Cesar and Ken have been upgraded to full-size bobbleheads. Cesar was given out by the Reds Hall of Fame last year. Ken Griffey Sr. was a FOCO production last year as well. So very happy to finally have the Grade 8 plus Sparky as full-size bobbleheads. On this shelf, we have the 1990, uh, 1990 Wire to Wire World Series Championship team with the replica ring in the front. In the back, we have Ron Oster, Glenn Braggs, Paul O'Neill, Hal Morris, or excuse me, that's Todd Benzinger. This is Paul O'Neill in front of Hal Morris. Then we have Tom Browning, Joe Oliver, Billy Hatcher, Jose Rio, uh, Chris Sabo, Eric Davis, the Nasty Boys, and then my all-time favorite red right in the middle, Barry Larkin. On this shelf, we have the post-1990, like late 90s, early 2000s reds. So we have Eddie Tobinsey, Danny Graves, Pete Harnish, Austin Kearns, uh, William Opeña, Jeff Brantley, Felipe Lopez, Adam Dunn, Sean Casey. In the middle is Ken Griffey Jr. 
And on the bottom, we have the 2012 through like 2013 Reds teams that made the playoffs, won the division twice. Uh, so we have Aaron Harang, Scott Rowland, Johnny Gomes, Bronson Arroyo, Matt Latos, Homer Bailey, Jay Bruce, Edson Volquez, Johnny Cueto, Billy Hamilton, Dusty Baker, uh, Brandon Phillips, and Devin Mezzarocco. And then my dog is just saying hello. Um, at the top here, we have the 2014 through, we'll say like 2018 Reds, I guess. Uh, so we have Scooter Jeanette, Derek Dietrich, Yasiel Puig, Adam Duvall, Zach Cozart, Scott Shevler, Aroldis Chapman, and Todd Frazier with the 2015 All-Star Game replica ring right in the middle between Chapman and Frazier because that was the year the Reds hosted the All-Star Game and they made the All-Star team. This shelf we have like 2019 through 2020. So, or we'll say like 2022, I guess. Um, so we have Wade Miley, Aristides Aquino, Jesse Winker, Trevor Bauer, Sonny Gray, Anthony DiScofani, Rysel Iglesias, Tucker Barnhart, Eugenio Suarez, Mike Moustakas, and Shogo Akiyama. And on this shelf, we have the current Reds team. Bobbleheads of current Reds players. Joey Votto, Nick Senzel, Nick Lodolo, Hunter Green, Jonathan India, and Tyler Stevenson. And on the bottom, we have the duplicate Reds bobblehead shelf. So I had a bunch of like duplicate players. Uh, that were kind of sprinkled in, but I, when I rearranged the cabinets, I decided to give them their own shelf. Just kind of made sense that way. So we have Tom Browning, Pete Rose, Pete Rose, Joe Nuxall, the mini George Foster, David Concepcion, Sonny Gray, Chris Sabo, mini Cesar Geronimo, Eugenio Suarez, uh, mini Ken Griffey Sr., Joey Votto, Sparky Anderson, and Barry Larkin. Uh, at the top, we have the Superhero Bobbleheads shelf. This has Batman, Superman, Batman, Puck Chop. And Puck Chop is one of the Cincinnati Cyclones and mascots. Black Panther, Iron Man, Captain America, Thanos, Vodomatic, the superhero version of Joey Votto, a mini Spider-Man bobblehead, Rocket, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Twister, the other Cincinnati Cyclones and mascot. Um, and I guess Thanos isn't really a superhero, but he's from that world, so I put him on the shelf with Iron Man, Captain America, and all that. This shelf, we have kind of some miscellaneous Reds bobbleheads. So we have the All-Star Game bobblehead on parade from when it was in Denver. We have the Jeff Brantley double bobblehead featuring as a player and an announcer, as he's currently a Reds broadcaster for the radio and occasionally TV. We have the Reds Buddy the Elf bobblehead. Scooter Jeanette on a scooter, Yasiel Puig on a horse, Marty and Tom, Marty, and Marty and Joe. Here we have the special edition Reds Bobbleheads Plus, um, I got a Foco generic vintage looking Reds Bobblehead right there in the front. And then we have Crosley on this side, that was a Cincinnati Reds Hall of Fame and Museum vintage Bobblehead giveaway. Uh, we have the 150 sets, both of them on this shelf, so we have... Tony Perez, Johnny Bench, and Ken Griffey Jr. They were the first set. And then the second set was Ernie Lombardi, Joe Morgan, and Barry Larkin. They gave those out during the 150th anniversary season of 2019. The Reds Hall of Fame induction, Pete Rose bobblehead. Uh, behind him, we had the double Ken Griffey Jr. bobblehead when he was inducted into the Hall of Fame. The Reds gave out a double bobblehead of him as a Mariner and a Red when the Mariners were visiting. Then we had the 30-30 Club double Barry Larkin bobblehead. And then the three generations of first baseman bobblehead featuring Tony Perez, Sean Casey, and Joey Votto. And then the three generations of power hitter, uh, power hitters bobbleheads featuring Ted Klazuski, George Foster, and Eugenio Suarez. The bottom shelf is the Reds mascot cabinet. So we have the quadruple mascot bobblehead with Gapper, Mr. Red, Mr. Redlegs, and Rosie Red. That was given to me by the National Bobblehead Hall of Fame and Museum. So thank you very much to them. We have a vintage Mr. Redlegs bobblehead. That was given out by the Reds Hall of Fame. We have the World Series Mr. Redlegs bobblehead in the back. We have Mr. Redlegs Snowman. We have the 150th anniversary Mr. Redlegs bobblehead right there. 
the Star Wars Mr. Redlegs bobblehead. You can kind of see him in his X-Wing spaceship. The 2015 All-Star Game Mr. Redlegs bobblehead that was given out by the Reds. And actually made by FOCO, which I didn't know they made stadium giveaways. That to date, I believe that is the only red stadium giveaway bobblehead made by FOCO. And then we have the 2015 All-Star Game Mr. Redlegs bobblehead and bobble stash. The red mustache actually bobbles. Next to him, we have another vintage, in quotation marks, Mr. Redlegs bobblehead, which was given out by the Reds, I want to say, last year. And then in the front, we have some mascots here. So we have the Reds Heads Kids Club mascot bobblehead, Gapper, Mr. Redlegs, Mr. Red, and Rosie Red. And that Mr. Redlegs bobblehead was the very first bobblehead I ever had in my collection. It's what got me hooked. Moving on to the Bengal bobbleheads. As I said, I had to extend the collection into another cabinet since the bobs have been phenomenal for us Bengal fans in getting us new bobbleheads. So that is why the collection has grown and it should continue to grow. First off, we have Ken Riley, newly um, and or soon to be Pro Hall of Fame inductee Ken Riley. Then we have Sam Weish, Isaac Curtis, Kenny Anderson, and that one is autographed. Anthony Munoz, and then a double Kenny Anderson and Anthony Munoz bobblehead. This shelf, we have Chris Collinsworth, David Fulcher, which is autographed. A, a vintage, in quotation marks, Bengals bobblehead. Boomer Esiason and Max Montoya, that one is autographed. You can see the signature on the back of the base right there. This shelf, Icky Woods, which is autographed. Tim Crumry, which is autographed. Reggie Williams and James Brooks, which is autographed. On the bottom, we have Richmond Webb, Willie Anderson, Justin Smith, Peter Wark, and Corey Dillon. And they'll go up to the top. We have the 2006 Burger King lines of Bengals bobbleheads um, with a, another uh, Bengal bobblehead at the very end. But the Burger King ones were Carson Palmer, Rudy Johnson, and Marvin Lewis. And that one is autographed too. And then we have Hooday, the Bengals mascot up here. We have the 2007 Burger King Bengals bobblehead line with Carson Palmer, Shane Graham. Uh, Shane Graham's on the left. And then we have TJ Hushmanzada and Chad Johnson, as well as a double bobblehead of Dave Lapham and Dan Horde. They are the current radio announcers for the Cincinnati Bengals. On this shelf, we kind of have the, like, 2010 through 2000, um, I guess pretty much the era after Chad Johnson, but before Joe Burrow. So we have Geno Atkins, Jerome Simpson, and that one is looks like he's flipping. It actually does flip. You can actually spin him around, and the head does bobble. It's a recreation of the Christmas Eve game where he did a front flip over an Arizona Cardinals defender into the end zone. And then we have the Tyler Eifert bobblehead. That one is autographed too. You can see the signature in silver on the jersey. We have Andy Dalton. That is autographed on the base. Domitol Pecco. AJ Green. This one is autographed on the base as well. And then Giovanni Bernard. That is autographed too. And then here are the current Bengals bobbleheads. Uh, we have the Draft Day Tiger King LSU Bengal Tiger Joe Burrow bobblehead in the back. Joe Mixon. Evan McPherson, Jamar Chase, and Joe Burrow. And I do have some more modern Bengal bobbleheads coming, uh, but they just have not been released yet by the time this video was filmed. And then we have the final cabinet here. Uh, so we have on this shelf, uh, Cincinnati Cyclones and SC Cincinnati, as well as the Cincinnati Tigers, Jungle Cats, and the Mighty Ducks. Um, so in the back there, we have the Astronaut Twister, uh, Twister is a mascot, as I said, for the Cincinnati Cyclones, and they had like a space night last uh, last year, so they were giving out a bobblehead of him as an astronaut. Got Ken Griffey Jr. as a uh, Cincinnati Jungle Cats bobblehead. That was from the old Arena Football League team we used to have, the Cincinnati Jungle Cats. I believe Jr. was actually part owner of that. Then we have a Cincinnati Tigers bobblehead, the old Negro League team that used to be in Cincinnati back in the day. Uh, Jay Cruz, the uh, in-arena MC for Cincinnati Cyclones games. Buster, the old mascot of the Cincinnati Mighty Ducks hockey team that used to be in Cincinnati. Then we have Twister, the mascot of the Cyclones. Uh, Michael Hauser, goalie for the Cyclones. Justin Vibe, riding the beast. 
And then the coach, Jason Payne, holding a Cincinnati Skyline Chili three-way. And in the front, we have the three FC Cincinnati bobbleheads that have been released. Uh, the generic player, Kendall Lawson, the old team captain, and the mascot, Gary the Griffin. I'm hoping they release some more FCC bobbleheads. On this shelf, we have some college bobbleheads and the Florence Yalls. So we have Rick Pitino, the University of Cincinnati Bearcats, Louie, the University of Louisville Cardinal, uh, Y'all Star, the mascot of the Florence Y'alls, a minor league baseball team in the Cincinnati area, D'Artagnan, the mascot of Xavier University, Byron Larkin and Joe Sunderman, that bobblehead is of the two Xavier basketball radio announcers, and Byron Larkin is actually the brother of Barry Larkin, and then we have the Yallosaurus bobblehead, which features Y'all Star riding a Triceratops, and the dinosaur is the actual bobblehead of that. Y'all Star on this one does not bobble. And then we have uh, the mascots of uh, the high school I went to, Covenant Catholic, that's the Colonel. And then the two college mascots of the university I graduated from, NKU. So we got Victor E. Viking and Hey You, and then the most handsome bobblehead you'll ever see, yours truly, that is me. My wife had that made for me as a birthday present a couple years ago. This shelf, we have the Bobblehead Hall of Fame and Museum bobbleheads, as well as uh, some wrestling and other miscellaneous bobbleheads. Um, so in the back, that tie-dye uniform is the Bobblehead National Bobblehead Hall of Fame Kids Club bobblehead. Then we have the National Bobblehead Hall of Fame white jersey bobblehead, the gold jersey bobblehead, and then they had a football bobblehead and a basketball bobblehead. Those were given out to members only, and I'm a member. Then we have the Tall Sacks bobblehead, Tony Hawk, which was actually given out by the San Diego Padres, um, a Louisville River Bats bobblehead of Adam Dunn, and then one of Deion Sanders. The Bats are the AAA affiliate of the Reds. We have Bobby, the National Bobblehead Hall of Fame mascot, the Frosty Frog bobblehead, which is a restaurant in Hilton Head, South Carolina, which serves amazing frog legs. If you're ever in Hilton Head, I definitely recommend going to that restaurant, eating their frog legs. It, they are fantastic. Uh, then we have some wrestling bobbleheads. So we have the Ultimate Warrior, Macho Man, Randy Savage, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and The Undertaker. And we have um, the Panda, the AGP mascot bobblehead. Um, and then I, I'm still waiting for the Reds to give out, or the Reds Hall fan to give out a Red Steve Macho Man bobblehead since he was in their farm system. And on this shelf, we have the non-Cincinnati sports teams bobblehead. So we have the Minneapolis Miracle bobblehead. That is of Case Keenum and Stefan Diggs. We got T.C. Bear, the mascot of the Twins. We got Ichiro. Um, the hockey bobblehead, uh, Mikey Rizzoni. This one, he played for that Miracle on Ice team. Um, I won this from AGP, and I don't know who they gave this out, uh, what team gave this out, but I just have it in my collection because it was a prize. Uh, we have Blue, the Indianapolis Colt, Lauren Hill, uh, this Pittsburgh Pirates bobblehead. Uh, if you can see it in the back, this was actually a gift given to me by a friend because I'm a Reds fan. I'm definitely not a Pirates fan, uh, but that is of uh, Bill Mazeroski. And then we have Sister Jean of Loyola fame, uh, Chicago Cubs, Sammy Sosa bobblehead, Atlanta Falcons, uh, generic vintage looking bobblehead, Dale Murphy, and um, we have Satchel Page here. This was given out by the Florence Yalls a couple years ago. And some mini cereal box bobbleheads that was given out by, I think, Post when I was a kid. I got Jeff Bagwell, Luis Gonzalez, Mike Piazza, and Alex Rodriguez. And then uh, Subakuro, as well as these players, as well as this fish bobblehead. Those are all Japanese bobbleheads. I had family that used to live in Japan, and when they visited, they gifted me those. Um for a couple of Japanese baseball teams. I believe it's for the Yakult Swallows, if I'm not mistaken. But that is every bobblehead in the collection through May of 2023. The Bengal collection has grown. Um, there's definitely though, still space for more bobbleheads to be added for the Bengals, if I had to arrange some, because um, there is a line from Cincy Bob that's coming out once the new season starts. Plus Foco has some coming out and it's waiting to be delivered. And I'm hoping that maybe the Bengals might win the Super Bowl or get the Super Bowl bobblehead collection in here. But there is room for stuff to be moved around for the Bengal bobbleheads. For the other teams here, um, mainly SCC and the Cyclones. Cyclones seem to give out a couple bobbleheads every year, so they might get their own shelf. 
Hoping SC Cincinnati starts having more ball heads made so I can give them their own shell. And then the Reds, uh, they are filling up like crazy. But that is the 2023 bobblehead collection update video. Hope you guys enjoyed it.